I, w I almost wish there was like one like prominent trail they were coming in on, but. protein and some decaf coffee because I'm an old lady. It's either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> first day of South Dakota archery antelope season. Um, we actually came back here like a month ago. We put a trail camera out here. So we know that there's some antelope that are using a watering hole just behind me over here. We're actually gonna, our first step this morning, we're gonna go to the top of a butte and do some glassing. So we're gonna start our day off with that and see how that goes. that belly crawl. That's great. <laughs> I got my workout in now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ready for stock number three. There, you go. Oh, there we go. We took a little break, did some driving around. Um, didn't see much for antelope. I don't know how many miles we put on, but um, finally spotted a good group. There's at least one buck in there, uh, but it's a big group, so it's a lot of eyes. So we're in this gully right now, so we're gonna walk down through it, see if we can get close, but we'll see. number five <laughs> we walked all the way back to the truck just to get right back out um Cause... still at the same spot and we found the original buck we were after and he's actually bedded down we couldn't see where he was bedded down from where we were at this last time and so we decided if it was worth it to stock or not and the wind is okay for where we are but our positioning we should be able to hopefully sneak up on him so we're gonna give it a shot. We should be able to just pop up over the hill. Yeah. I don't know how far it'll be, but yeah, it's worth a shot. Let's so get after it. The game. but he was bedded right there. So he just walked over here and he bedded with his does. <sighs> one of these times. Mm, one of these times. <laughs> well, truck's way back there. We're getting closer, so that's good. Must yeah. be doing something right. Yeah. Man, that was close. All right, it's the morning of day two. We have a similar plan as yesterday morning. Um, we're gonna go in the same area over by that butte, um, but we're gonna go in between some rocks and kind of hide ourselves a little better. So um, we're gonna head over there. Had a good night's rest last night. It's gonna be really hot today. So see how it goes. did some glassing um, in this area that we've been in quite a bit and we aren't seeing any antelope this morning so not sure if they're just tucked in some of these valleys or what but we're not gonna mess with them so we're gonna actually go do some scout and drive around see if we can find anything. Else. 
we went down the road a little bit and spotted a buck in the same area as our stock that we did last night. Um, can't quite tell if it's the same buck, but he's up on that same exact area. So we're gonna see if we can put a good stock on him. That was a long stop. Mm -hmm. It was a long stop. We came up one ridge too soon. Yep. Yep. And they probably smelled us too. Yeah, they caught our wind for sure. Yeah. They only caught it because we came up one ridge too soon. Because then we were higher than they were. Yeah, and it blew directly at them. Yeah. I almost wonder if the decoy would have worked on that one. Yeah, I don't know. They smelt us, but they didn't know what we were until they came over the hill. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if any of those down there have... Our bucks or not? Yeah. I can't either. I'm guessing that might be those three does that we saw bedded from over there. There was more than three, though. There was like seven. Thank <laughs> you. 